I believe I mentioned in my video that was a review of my 600 that I didn't get it for speed, um, that that just wasn't one of the things I was looking for in a bike. And um, it is speedy enough. It gets me everywhere I wanna go and I believe I'll be using it more uh, for sure uh, than my new bike. But I do want to have something that is faster. Um, there's a couple reasons for that. I want to be able to go further in less time. I'd like to be able to join in on um, longer group rides like uh, the Seattle to Portland ride and things like that where I need to cover as much distance in as short amount of time as possible so I can keep up with others. And along those lines of keeping up with others, I also want to join some of the local um, bike club rides and the rides that I would be able to keep up with most comfortably with my 600 um, aren't as common because it is a slower pace and you know, they're all on the road bikes. That makes sense. Um, I, I still absolutely adore my 600, um, but what I got is the Priority Apollo. It's their lightest, fastest bike. So let's unbox this thing, put it together, and then I will take it on its first ride. Thank goodness Priority does a good job of packing because the this was shredded. FedEx left it way up by the road. Um, I don't know if you can see from the inside, you can see that that side was uh, broken. Um, and even in fact, let me turn this around. You can see all of the breaks in the cardboard, but it looks like we're doing pretty good in here. So let me get this out, set the parts out, and then I'll pick it up again. I've opened the parts that come with it. Priority includes the tools that you need. They do recommend that you have a professional assemble it. However, they have an excellent video online and this one comes mostly assembled. I will be taking this um, in the same order that they show it in their assembly video. I'm just going to put this in. Just put it right out of there for now. I uh, believe I had photo instead of video but basically I've turned the stem around so it's facing the right direction and it's hard to make sure you've got the fork and the stem um, true to each other and then making sure that this stem is aligned here. Um, I might need to adjust again, but I'm gonna tighten it up right now because I believe I have it approximately right and I can always adjust later. All right. Next, I'm going to remove the face plate off of this front stem here. Last one. Hello. I'm going to move this up grab these and in the video they were really good about rotating it like this so I think that's where I need to have it I watched the whole video and I'm kind of referring back to it and this um, the top of the handlebar should be horizontal with the ground right here and I've got a little symbol here to line it up with the trick is going to be holding it on while I try to get these little guys back in. Okay, so these little guys, these bolts here, are what I'm putting on now. And the front reflector is a little in the way, so I'm probably going to slide it over. And the instructions say to tighten them equally, so I think what we want to do is there's a gap in there. And we want to keep this gap kind of even so that we aren't tightening the entire thing um, so that it's like askew. We want it even. All right, I used a Phillips screwdriver to loosen that a little bit. Now I'm gonna try to get this aligned again. Really helpful that they put kind of a target in here for me to see.
All right, so my husband actually suggested that I use the bicycle stand to put this together, but um, the way that I had my camera tripod set up, it wasn't gonna work. Um, however, uh, there I needed too many hands to do this, and he is really good at putting things together, and I am learning, and I really wanted to do this on my own, and I knew I'd make some mistakes, and I, I can't learn if I don't make mistakes, right? So um, I kicked him out of the garage, <laughs> And I probably will ask for his help or to check it over when I'm done. But um, I have taken his advice now and it is up on the bicycle stand. I've maneuvered things around and hopefully you can see better what I'm doing. Um, I am still on this step of getting the um, handlebars on. But I needed to see the gap and I couldn't see it from the angle that I was at. I'm also concerned about these, um, the lines the gear lines, the brake lines here, they are very, very stiff and they're going right across the um, bolts that I need to tighten, but I think I've got it now. So I'm just gonna tighten those up and paying attention to um, how much I'm tightening each of them so that I'm getting it even. I did put my Priority 600 together. Whoop, hi. Maybe I should slide that up on something. I did put my Priority 600 together myself. However, he was putting together his at the same time. So I could see what he was doing and compare steps and um, get his help if I needed it. And we were both watching the video together, so I had moral support. Let's see how big we're getting with the gaps here. Anyway, um, this time I am without all of that. So I'm gonna see how well I do. And the Priority Apollo is pretty forgiving. It is mostly assembled. So that's wonderful. All right, I have flipped my bike upside down. Let's see if I can install the front tire. This way. So first I'm pulling out the axle like the video said. There we go. And then it said this is packing material. lined up on the other side. I should feel a catch on the threads. Feels pretty smooth. Okay, I think it said it should dent my hand when tightening. Something seems to be running. Okay, first the right pedal. And this is standard thread on the right side. I thought I'd need that, but I don't. So I'm just going to grab this and tighten it on in. This one is going to be counterintuitive because it is not clockwise. Okay, that does it. You know what? I think I have a bicycle. I do have to do a couple things, some adjustments. Look at this. It's a bike. It resembles a bike. Let's see if it works like one. So first, uh, we loosened up the uh, front reflector when uh, I was putting the handle on, uh, handlebars on. So I'm going to tighten that again. Boy, I am so spoiled with my 600 having a kickstand. I know a lot of people don't like kickstands. I happen to actually love a kickstand. Um, so I guess I'm weird that way. But I am going to now put this rear reflector on the seat post. Well, it's not going to fall off, but it is um, not the right size screw. So it's a little loose. I will have to find another screw that fits it.
Some of the packaging I hadn't taken off yet was hadn't taken off yet was this tape that was all over the handlebars, and you can see this piece still on here. And this is like a hundred pieces. It doesn't tear off in one piece. That's my only complaint so far. Not sure if you can hear this. My disc isn't true. So we have it on the stand, and Dave's actually got a tool for this. Silence. Yeah. That is a beautiful thing. Loaded up and ready to go. It was a lot of fun. There's Dave. There's the bike.